Hi everyone and welcome back. Today I don't have a project video just because I was on vacation and I just came back. However, I did receive this wonderful collection by Stamperia designed by Anton Janidakis. So I thought that instead of leaving you without a video at all, it would be fun to show you the new collection, which includes products that I will be using on my next video next Tuesday. So this is called Ser Vagabond again, it's the new Ser Vagabond Aviator collection and uh, the previous one was in Japan, this one is New York. Again it has that vintage vibe to it, lovely color combinations, great patterns and let's start with the basic collection of pattern papers. These are the 12 by 12, 8 by 8 and 6 by 6. I'm going to browse through the 8 by 8 since it fits nicely inside my frame so you can have an idea of what you get. So you get a page full of labels, lots of maps, Sir Vagabond and his lady. You will get lots of tags. The lady in this collection is gorgeous and uh, she is my absolute favorite. I probably will use her as my focal point in the next project. And of course remember that depending on the size of the scrapbook paper you will end up with bigger or smaller focal points like this page for example at the end. If you want bigger ones you need to go with a 12 by 12. If you want smaller ones for card making go with a 6 by 6 pad. But in any case since you don't get two pages of its design I would definitely recommend to grab two scrapbook pads any size of your choice so you don't have to fight with yourself on which side you are going to use. Now these are the background pattern papers. These include only backgrounds. You can get them in 8x8 or 12x12. You will find the backgrounds that are in the main scrapbook collection, but you will get some extras as well. These are great to use as they are for background on cards and any other project really. And then all you need to do is to fuzzy cut your uh, focal point and stick it on top. And now let's move on and uh, take a look at the focal points. There are many options. Of course, you can fuzzy cut them out of the main paper pads. However, this is the collectable ones. This is really handy. You will find tons of designs that you can fuzzy cut. Plus, take a look at these. Many of the designs are front and back that you can take advantage of that if you want to place them on a window, for example. Or you can just flip the fuzzy cut image depending on where you want your girl to look at. Many of the elements that you can fuzzy cut in this collectible pad aren't available on the main scrapbook pad, so you get a lot of extras. Here's another great page with lots of focal points, front and back again, absolutely love those. Some hotter balloons, clocks, lots of maps. And let's take a look on some other options of focal points. Stamperia always provides for every collection so many different options of focal points, so I'm sure there is something for every style. So this is the wooden shapes. These are the chipboard and this is chipboard, but it is also self-adhesive. All you need to do is to just pop them out. If you are not a fan of fuzzy cutting from the previous pads, then this is the way to go. Just use any of those die cuts that I'm going to show you now. So, for example, let's pop out the girl. You will see that she doesn't have an outline, a white outline. Plus, she is sticky. She makes the perfect focal point for any mixed media project. It can be an art journal, a canvas, it can be a shadow box. She's quite sturdy for that. Plus, you can use her for card making. She's not that thick after all. Then these are the wooden shapes. All you need to do is just pop them out. They are quite thick and they make a sturdy focal point. Now these are the die cuts. This is chipboard. They are not self-adhesive, but they are quite thick. So nice and sturdy focal points that match with the collection and you will get a bunch of designs here. So again, if you don't like fuzzy cutting, just grab one of those bags and you will get the lady as well. I'm trying to show you the thickness here. This is, this is your normal chipboard thickness. Another fun option are the clear die cuts. This is a bag of uh, focal points again, but this time they are made out of acetate. They are called clear, however, they are not completely transparent. As you can see, this is printed thick acetate, nice and sturdy. And of course, these are shiny since this is acetate, so you can add a different texture on your projects. I think I should use some of those focal points to make one of those 10 cards videos that I used to make. They are going to be lots of fun. Now this is grey board full of gears. All you need to do is just pop them out and then you get those four designs. 
These are called decorative chips and uh, I believe they are laser cut. They do have some thickness, but since they are not so thick, you can easily use them inside the page if you are working on an art journal and you can definitely use them on top of a card if you like. You can easily add color to those. These are porous, so it will grab ink, acrylic paint or whatever other medium you want to use. And you cannot have a collection without stamps. So let's take a look at the stamps designed by Antonis. These are rubber stamps, great quality, perfect impression. And if you haven't used them before, these are mixed media stamps, which means that they are not going to click on your acrylic blocks. They have a foam at the back and they are designed this way so that you can use them in mixed media projects to get an organic look. That's the way that you are supposed to use them. However, you can definitely use some double-sided tape if you like to stick them on your acrylic blocks. So that's the first one, lots of text numbers and uh, the Statue of Liberty. There are four stamps in the collection in total. Here is another background one with a New York building. Here is one where you will find many different designs. It's not a background stamp, you need to pop them out. And you will find a cityscape. One thing to keep in mind is that this is quite big. It's not as small as it looks at the front photo of the packaging. Here is the bridge, and there are other elements like postal stamps, etc. And then here is another background stamp, definitely my favorite of the four, just because I find it really versatile and I think it can be used for so many different projects. And now let's go quickly through the stencils available from this collection. All of them are really great designs. This one features mainly a plane. Then this one features that uh, building with uh, the brick and the windows. Here is one with the Statue of Liberty and lots of text. I think this is going to be a favorite for all my US friends. Here is another favorite. I absolutely love this one with the gears. And finally, you get the bridge. This is the exact same design that you can get on a stamp as well. And since we're talking backgrounds, let's take a look at rice paper. This is perfect for creating an instant background without having to work too much. Rice papers by Stamperia are always stunning, perfect quality, and uh, this features some of the designs that you can find on the scrapbook pads. The one with the cloak is definitely one of my favorites. And look at the next one with the Statue of Liberty, just stunning all of them. Now, for the first time, Stamperia came up with fabric for this collection. So they have four different designs in this bag. If you are into sewing, you can make lots of projects using those, but I find that they would be great to cover the front and back on an art journal. And by the way, the size is 30 by 30 centimeters or 12 by 12, just like your normal scrapbook page. I have so many ideas on how to use that, and I can even introduce some fabric on top of my cards. I just hope I will find the time to play with the fabric as much as I want to. And I kept the best for the last. This is a new product by Stamperia. These are the vintage patinas. Five different colors and the fun part is that they are water-based, so they don't smell. They are easy to work with. They are blendable. It makes it easy to clean the brushes or the spatula, whatever you use to apply it just with water. I'm just going to swatch them here on this piece of paper so you can see the colors, but of course these are meant to be used to add that patina look and feel on dimensional focal points. I'm going to make a video just using those patinas so you can see how they are meant to be used and also you will be able to see all their properties. 50 ml tubes, so lots of product there. And the colors that you see in the order that you see them are rust, gray, dark blue, turquoise, and of course white. Again, these are vintage patinas, so you are supposed to use them to get that aged look and feel. And of course, they are perfect to pair them with three-dimensional products. So here are some molds that you can use to create three-dimensional focal points using your resin or your paper clay. There are two of those molds for this collection. I did share some videos last year, I believe, using resin on uh, this type of molds, but I'm making a note to make sure that I will post another one really soon. Also make sure to leave me a comment down below and let me know what you liked from the whole collection and what you want me to use in a future project. So here are a couple of more uh, molds. These are more shallow. They are not as deep as the previous ones. 
You use texture paste on these ones and then let it dry and peel it off, which makes a great uh, dimensional background. I haven't shared this technique in one of my videos, so here is another one that goes in my to-do list of videos for the future. And that was the Ser Vagabond Aviator designed by Anton Stranidakis for Stamperia. Down below you will find links to everything you see in this video. I went through all the products from the collection so you can get an idea of what is available and I hope the video was helpful to help you decide what is best for you. Here is a video where I'm using molds and resin to create a mixed media canvas. Thank you all for joining me and I'll see you all next time.